Hallelujah. There's no language barrier in Christ. God doesn't have a problem with language. Get it over. Psalms 118, verses 1 to 9. Sama kata cikgu mau bikin tau ya. Praise the Lord. Sarang tu tiga bu ruah tol. Give thanks to the Lord for He has given us the blessing to choose for them. Let Israel now say, as He has to choose for them. Let the house of Israel now say, as He has to choose for them. Let those who fear the Lord now say, as He has to choose for them. I called on, on the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a poor place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can men do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me. Therefore, I shall sing by the side of those who hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in men. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Amen. Eh? Ya bintang kita kena buka rana bebe chow, apa yang buka rana bikin apa? Tamata. Eh? Praise the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. And the Baru. La Kobani Boy and Dona. Eh? Dona and the Tau. Vidana Miti Masu Masuko. When we have the Baravitan on the Buddha, the Baravitan song when you go on a cloak, the Silver Unity of Bonita Tala and the Silver Unity of Beko, I was saying about the Baravitan on the Buddha. May possibly get the Kabin Bonis in the Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to take a bus up to Ani. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah! Bapa tu mereka kotor kotor pas seven, sahaja ni tim cikin ada tu mas mas. Praise the Lord, masa tiga besar, Hallelujah! Thank you Jesus, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Thank you Lord, we worship you, we praise you, we thank you. Na boleh pun uli kalau leh pun kalau bagai tamera, Hallelujah! Kalau bagai uku kalau sa, Hallelujah sa. Seni tu seni mundu, Hallelujah. Mai nak tahu mundu ke nak tahu mundu ni sekalau tiap hari nak keluar. Hallelujah. Kita mina alif pakai nama mereka ni bawa tiga buku ni bawa tahu tu roti. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. We are greeted this evening in the name of our wonderful Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, wherever part of this community that you come from, whether you're from Nandawa, Nosori, Dabuli Lebu, Hallelujah, Lemi, oh, glory be to God, Nakasi, whether you come from the West, just to be this Lambasa, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, you are most welcome in the house of the Lord tonight. It's our prayer that God will touch our hearts tonight and visit our lives tonight. Do something new. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray that, uh, that you won't leave tonight uh, disappointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the second time I told you, I was doing all in my kingdom. I was na yado mai baka lelo bina kami ni sinarendai menta mai beto ko ni taka na bos ni kelo na sinar mai toko na 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 talay ni kelo menta mai toko na cikunga halilu na bos ni kelo amen praise the Lord we are so blessed that God can speak to us again hallelujah from His word amen praise the Lord amen we are we are touching the basic Christian foundational study praise the Lord Amen. why we do what we do in the church or why God set it up like this and we need to understand that praise the Lord it's like building a house yeah? when we build the house we make sure that the foundation is properly set praise the Lord Amen. you cannot build a 10-story building on a two-story foundation is that right, Pastor? Amen, He's a builder. He knows it. The same thing with our Christian life. You cannot build 
uh, your Christian life, my Christian life, uh, praise the Lord, had it on a weak foundation. Amen? Amen. This, this journey with God, this faith journey with God is a marathon. It's not a 100 meter sprint. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a marathon. And we need to be trained and we need to be quit, uh, praise the Lord, of how to live the Christian life. Because some of us, we don't know how to live the Christian life. Eh? We are doing things in the uh, Christian life thinking that it is correct, but uh, as a matter of fact, it's not because it's not biblical. It's not based on the Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight we pray that this thing is going to hold us up. Eh? Praise the Lord. So for those of you who were here last night, uh, I, I pray that you'll be patient tonight uh, because we're going to go through it again just for the, just for the sake of the people that were not here last night. Are you patient tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Will you, will you allow that? So we just go it through. Yes, Brother Joe? Is that, is that okay? Oh, Brother Joe wants to re, re, re digest it again. Eh? He was very happy last night, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's, that's a good sign. Eh? So that's what we're doing. The basic Christian foundation study. So we're, we're touching from the ground up. Praise the Lord. So as you go in your journey of faith uh, with Parmeshwar, you, you begin to understand a few things. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? amen. In the spiritual realm, there are only two kingdoms. Kenna kingdom. Dui kingdom. Ah, Dui kingdom. I'm practicing my Hindi. Eh? Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Uh, just, just as a reminder, when you come to this, uh, this type of sessions, bring an old book and a pen. Eh? Bring an old book and a pen. If you've if you got a USB and you want the, the, the PowerPoint presentation of this, we will give it to you. Just bring your USB and we'll download it to you. You can have it. Praise the Lord. We're not greedy in this church, are we, Pastor? No, we're very, very humble. Just saying. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So in the spiritual kingdom, there are only two kingdoms, or in the spiritual realms, there are only two kingdoms. And what are they? For you guys that were here last night, don't answer it. What are they? There are only two kingdoms. What are they? Come on. How many kingdoms? Two kingdoms? Three kingdoms? That's very good. But what are they? Praise the Lord. So it's the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. But there's no third kingdom. It's a, okay, there's a kingdom of light and a kingdom of darkness. And in the middle, there's a kingdom of gray, green, yellow. No, there's no. <laughs> Hana. <laughs> eh? Hana. There's only, there's only two kingdoms. Praise the Lord. So there's the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me ask the question. Uh, who is the chief spirit? Or can we say, who is the chief? Eh? Can I just put it like that? Who is the chief in the kingdom of light? Who is the chief? Jesus or Parmeshwar? Eh? Parmeshwar, not Bhagwan. Bhagwan name. Parmeshwar. You have to get this straight up. You have to understand. Eh? Bhagwan and Parmeshwar, they're not the same. Understand? Amen. This God, this great God, stands alone. There's nobody else beside Him. Amen? Amen. Bhagwan and Parameshwara, they're not the same. I'm sorry you're going to get offended here, but I need to make that very clear. Eh? Bhagwan and Parameshwara, they're not the same. Amen? Amen. Amen. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The great God, Jehovah, the almighty God, is a jealous God. Eh? So in the kingdom of light, Parmeshwar, God is the, he is the chief, he is the ruler, he is the God of God, he is the Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Seigneur, vous voulez vous. Vous voulez vous. And who is the chief spirit in the kingdom of darkness? In the kingdom of darkness. Who is the chief there? Satan. Satan. Eh? Satan. Praise the Lord. So you, you know, see, I, I know that because I know this the, in the Hindi, and the, almost the same, eh? the word for Satan. Is that, is that how you pronounce Satan in Hindi? How do you pronounce Satan in Hindi? Satan. Satan. Is that correct? Okay, in Fiji it's Satan. So it's almost the same. Eh? So Satan is the chief spirit, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Satan is the chief spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan is the chief spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me let me let me ask a question for those of you who you were not here last night. Before you were born again, in which kingdom were you were in? Nimberno vingo mi chisu me no mutura no mi bakambula en a matin tu lawa o alewe na tiko. Before you got born again, in which kingdom you were a member of? Which family did you belong to? Atorawa. So before you got born again, you were in the kingdom of darkness. And this fella here, I know I'm speaking broken pigeon in English here. This guy here, he was your spiritual father. Kwa esa nango, ni ko si bermi suli na lumu bolo be chisu. O kwa esa nango, e tamamu ti ko bayalo. Na tebo ro sara nango ti ko e manichu. Kwa esa nango, na chimo ni na kero kusama kanta. Kwa esa nango tamamu ti ko bayalo. Praise the Lord. Sara nga. Any question? Any question? How many people have lost already? How many people said, oh, I better go home, man, I don't like this one here. Huh? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Before you got born again, can the carry? Before we were born again, our spiritual father was Satan because we were a member of his family. We were his children. We got to be in two little world. We got to be in each one. Praise the Lord. Amen. You better not think about Jesus. We don't turn around. We want more. Before you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, this guy was your heaven. Uh, was was your uh, spiritual father. You were a child of the devil. All of us. That's our spiritual father. Before we came to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Are you with me so far? Can we move forward? Yeah, yeah. Can we uh, can you please clarify? Yeah. If you're living yeah. under this father, yeah. in some area, yeah. he can do so as a miracle. But he cannot do the peace and uh, That's right. happiness. That's right. Or blessing. That's right. It cannot come from You notice in witchcraft. What's the word of witchcraft in Hindi? Jadu. Jadu, huh? Jadu, okay. Eh? You notice in witchcraft, in Jadu. Hara? Eh? You notice people go there to do the witchcraft because, because the, the place they were going to worship is not working for them. And so they're looking for miracle and breakthrough from another source. Hara? So they go, we've all done it before we serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've done it. Guilty. Eh? Guilty as charged. I lift up both my hands and let to. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. So we go to the jadu because, uh, hallelujah, we, we're looking for something eh, to be blessed, to be increased, to, eh, for example. You know? Some people go there for wife. Eh? I'm not so sure about that. If Satan wanna give the wife, man, you feel, I feel sorry for you. Hallelujah. Eh? Amen. Yeah, yeah. Well, we won't go there. So what happens, eh? Because he can Satan can perform the miracle, but he cannot. But it comes with a price, eh? 
-hmm. It comes with a price. Because sooner or later, he'll come back to you and he says, Hey, I want this. And usually, yeah, it's usually he requires your soul or the soul of your loved ones. This is why you see witchcraft people or those involved in witchcraft, they don't have any feelings uh, uh, for their loved ones. They will sell their loved ones uh, to the devil. Because the devil will require a sacrifice. Understand now? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very dangerous thing to play with witchcraft. Very dangerous thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. And be very careful. If you think I'm going to go to the pundit, be very careful. Especially after hearing this truth. Eh? If you think you're going to go to the pundit, if you think you're going to go drink Yangona again, if you think you're going to go smoke the cigarette again, be very careful. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I think there's, I think there's, there's Hindi or he, eh? Hindi witchcraft. There's also Fijian witchcraft. Eh? There's almost witchcraft everywhere. Eh? No matter what kind of people you come across. Praise the Lord. Be very careful. Eh? And this is the reason why we're teaching this kind of thing, so that, so that the church, the people of God, are aware of the deception that the devil is trying to bring on them. You see, if you do not know the truth you will be forced to believe the lie. Understand? Huh? When Satan came to... I'm, speaking, I'm trying to speak Hindi, but I'm not very good. Uh, when Satan came to, to Eve uh, in the Garden of Eden, remember that? How many of you remember the story? Eh? Okay? When he came and uh, 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 questioned their faith in God, eh? and that's what the devil is attacking, your faith. Questioned their faith in God. He said, has God said... You see, has God said? In other words, he was trying to tell them, man, God is keeping something from you. He does not want you to have. The devil will always say that. Eh? Hey, 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 look, that father, that father, wife, beautiful. That wife, father, beautiful. Eh? And you think, well, if I have that wife, I'll be happy. No. You know, you got to smack him down. <laughs> eh? And then when Eve fell for it, because he said, you know, she said it. Eh? The devil said to her, oh, if you eat the fruit, the forbidden fruit, eh? he said, you will be like God. Understand? What Eve did know, they were already created like God. She didn't have to go and eat the fruit from the tree to be like God. They were already created like God. You see, she thought that they, they were missing something. Eh? But all the time she had. You see, if you do not know the truth, you will be forced to believe the lie. You better write that down. Stop staring at me. <coughs> Praise the Lord. If you do not know the truth, you will be forced to believe the lie. You have no option. How can you tell the lie from the truth? Because you don't even know the truth. What's eh? happening with Arikila Nandina? How are you going to measure what the devil is telling you when you don't have any frame of reference in here, no word of God, no truth in here to be able to use as a reference to say, hey, this is a lie. Why? Because you know the truth. But if you don't know, know the truth, you will just believe whatever the devil tells you. Because you have nothing in you. Praise the Lord. Amen. To tell the difference. Amen? Amen? You have nothing in you to tell the difference. You won't know. The, the father come in, trick you, bite you, scratch you. You don't even know. Steal from you. Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and... Destroy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't move Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Any questions so far? Praise the Lord. The kingdom of light is also known as kingdom of heaven, Matthew 3, verse 2, kingdom of God, Galatians 5, 21, kingdom of Christ and of God, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 5, the kingdom of his dear son, Colossians 1, 13, the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 2 Peter 1.11 and the kingdom of our God, Revelation 
They, if, if they say that, they all referring to the kingdom of light. It's one and the same, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can we go? Can we go forward? Or? Yes. I'll well, just give a little bit time to the people uh, writing. Praise the Lord. While the screen is working, eh? Praise the Lord. Amen, eh? No matter the tuni rara, no matter the matter the tuni mbuto mbuto. If we are going to go kira, we are going to go. If we are going to go matter the tuni mbuto mbuto, we are going to go matter the tuni rara. Remember the ten silver coins in the Bible, the parable that Jesus told in the Bible. Natini natini silino ko ito wala magamaya. This lady, this must be an Indian lady, eh? Indo Fijian lady, because she had ten silver coins. A very poor rich lady, yeah. Hey, praise the Lord. And what happened to one of the coins? Have you ever the one and two that you see them all? They are missing or lost. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where was it lost? In the house or out of the house? In the house. In the house. Okay. The greatest loss of all is the loss in the house. You come into church every Sunday but still lost. Eh? Hearing the message of Christ but still lost. Eh? Lost in the house. Many, many people come to church and still lost it. Eh? Why? Because they refuse to obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Refuse. So they're still lost. Come in church, come in. If this person who is lost in the house of God, when he or she dies, where does she go? Or where does he go? Hell, straight away. Hell. <clears throat> you come into church, still lost, and when you die, you go to hell. To meet who? Satan, your God. Parmesan cannot take you up to heaven because you don't belong to him. Only those who go to heaven are the ones that belong to Parmesan. Eh? And if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, that's who you're going down to. To your spiritual father, the devil. Eh? If you refuse to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, sorry, you can't go to heaven. You may have a good life here, but boom, barka, barka problem down there. Eh? What is, uh, what's the word in Hindi for hot? I hope you like heat. Because it's going to be hotter than Nandi, Tabua, Raki Raki, all that process. Eh? Both garam, eh? Eh? Amen? Amen. Amen. Well, I'm still here. Uh, it's, it's further down the slides here, but I'll just say this. Uh, um, for everyone, for everyone who is in the kingdom of darkness, for those who reject or refuse to receive Jesus Christ as their personal savior, right? When they die, they go to hell. Now watch this, this is very dangerous. The same punishment is given to Satan, is also given to all of his children. The same punishment, the same treatment that goes to Satan also goes to his followers or all his children. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amen. We didn't touch that last night. So I'm glad you came tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Any question? Do I have a talk? Some Praise the Lord. You said that you have a table of water. That's it. I need two. I need two. I need two. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I need two. In the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness is also known as the kingdom of Satan. Eh? It's also known as hell. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Question. This is a question. Before anybody, before any person is born again, in which 
kingdom does this person belong to? Ni sebera ni dingo mi chisu en dola tomata en la matin tu la el lewa na tiku na tomata ngo. The kingdom of darkness. And in the kingdom of darkness, who is the spiritual father of that kingdom? Satan. Do you see now? Yeah. Eh? Satan is the spiritual father eh? of all in the kingdom of darkness. Amen? Yeah. That's his domain. Eh? He rules and reigns in that domain. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Uh, you remember the Lord's prayer? Na masuni turanga. What is this? Praise the Lord. Você quer que eu não tu raga? Também quem mami mai? Praise the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven. Now, before you were born again, in which kingdom you belong to? Kingdom of hell. Did you used to say that prayer when you were unsaved? Yes. 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 Eh? Namone simber ni bom pleki, namone simber no mutura aqui na. Namone tura o Cristo Cristo. Né? We used to say that prayer, our Father in heaven. But we were lying because we didn't belong to the kingdom of heaven, did we? We were in the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of heaven is not our kingdom. Because we haven't been saved yet. So we were so the children of Satan were saying their prayer, and it is not their prayer. Because it doesn't that their prayer only belongs to the children of the kingdom of light. Because it says in their prayer, our father who art in heaven. Your father, the devil, is down there. You saying the wrong prayer. Because you were unsaved. You haven't made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior yet. Na mano sa tingo mi chisu kina may nomo turang kina nomo iba ang pula sa gero na masu na masu iturang. Amen. Bakit sa gaya na nomo masu na nomo ni rara? Sino na nomo masu na nomo ni butong buto? What is darkness in Hindi? Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What my friend just said. Kana, if you are the children of that kingdom, praise the Lord. You cannot pray the Lord's prayer because the Lord's prayer belongs to the to the to the citizens of the kingdom of light. You see how the devil has deceived us, eh? Do you see now? Okay, I hope you'll see. Okay, the kingdom of hell. Eh? That's where before you got born again. Can we read the scripture two, three? You see how important the new birth is? Or some call it a new creation? Do you see how important it is? You see? To turn them from darkness to? From Satan to? God. You see now? Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we read the three scriptures please? Oh. Praise the Lord. Colossians 1.13 
Colossians 1 13 says that uh, he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his uh, into the kingdom of the son of his love. Colossians 1 13 eh? if you got it over there you can just write down the reference praise the Lord. Colossians anybody here have got a Hindi Bible? Where's auntie? You got a Hindi Bible auntie? Auntie Surila? You got a Hindi Bible? Ha, ah, can you read for us in the Hindi Bible, please? Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. Please. What the Bible is tomorrow? You can read the Bible. Please prepare. Feature Bible. Hindi Bible, please. Barka, barka, volume, eh? You got that? That's yeah. all the Hindi speaking. Yeah. You you understand that? Yeah. Do you want uh, do you want auntie to read it again? Uh, read it again, please, auntie. Amen. Can we We want to get my two. Three. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So this is okay. Here we go. Let's read it while it's still up. First one, please. Two, three. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and covered us in the kingdom. Number two. He has rescued us from the power of the darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. The third one. For he has rescued us from the one who rules in the kingdom of darkness, and he has brought us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is what happens when you got born again. When we got born again, Three things happen to us. Eh? Three things happen to us. Praise the Lord. God took us out from the kingdom. Let's let's just say, for example, eh? God took us out from the kingdom of darkness and transferred. Where's the word transfer? Transfer. Right? Took us out and transferred us into the kingdom of light. Kingdom of light or the kingdom of it. Son of his love, which is still the kingdom of life. There's a transference happened in the spirit realm when you and I got born again. Please understand this. If you don't understand, please put your hands up so I can explain it, right? Understand that? Amen. He took us out. That's the word convey. Convey. Convey means to take out of one place and put it into another place. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Three things happen to us. That's, these three things happen to us when we got born again. The first one is, can we read it together? Two, three. Changing of position. Changing of location. And changing of position. Three things happen to every one of us when we got born again. These three things took place. God, in His supernatural power, did that for us without any understanding on our part, without any knowledge on our part. He did it supernaturally. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or you begin to appreciate your salvation now when we go through this thing. Amen. 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 Eh? We change lordship. Praise the Lord. In the kingdom of darkness, who was your Lord and Father and God? In the kingdom of darkness. Satan. Eh? Satan. Satan. When you were born again, he took you out from the kingdom of darkness and brought you into the kingdom of, 
of his love, of his kingdom of light. And now, who is the spiritual father in the kingdom of light? Jesus. God. See, you change lordship. Eh? In there, Satan was your lord. In here, God is your, Jesus is your lord and savior. Understand? Amen. Eh? So, uh, some other two have a Is that, does that, is that, is that clear? Eh? Clear? Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Then we change, we change lordship. Satan is no longer uh, your lord because you do not belong in his kingdom anymore now. God, see, the moment you, the moment, the moment uh, uh, Jesus become your Lord and Savior, straight away God took you out here. You don't belong in that kingdom and put you here in His kingdom, because now Jesus is your Lord and Savior. That's the first thing that took place. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The second thing that took place was what did we say? The changing of <coughs> location. He took you from the kingdom of darkness, put you in the kingdom of light. Eh? Kau kiko ni mana mati tu nampu tu tu? Eh, kau sih kau nak mati tu, nak mati tu di mana? Masih nak mati tu di mana? Mana ni tu? This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Remember when the father said that the Jesus and his baptism in the river Jordan? Nono mana ni tu? Eh, mana ni? Tu sama mana kau tu nama? Praise the Lord. The third thing, don't I mean is I be more this afternoon? Praise the Lord, Amen. Amen. The third thing is the changing of position. See, when He placed you in the kingdom of light, He just did, He He just didn't take you and just dump you in there. I told you, He didn't just take you and dump you in there. Cause in the let you come and then just ah, God, how do you go to work? No. He specifically took you out and specifically took you and placed you in a specific position. Specific. He put you at, at his right hand. That's the position of the highest authority in the spiritual uh, spiritual realm. And I took to there tundua and ambulo bagayao at the right hand of the Father. He placed you there. Understand this, whatever is available to Jesus is also available to us. We are the body of Christ. Christ is the head and we are the body. So whatever is available to the head is also available to the body. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? We are in Christ. If any man is in Christ, he is what? He is a new creation. All things have? Behold, all things have become? All right. Praise the Lord. Oh. Amen. Do you understand now? Eh? He, he didn't just take you and just dump you through you, through you in his kingdom. So that's enough for him. Yeah. Have a nice time. Mother boy. No. He took you and he specifically placed you at the right hand of the Father. The highest place of authority in the spiritual kingdom. In any realm. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the scripture. Can we read it? 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 2, 3. Therefore, if anyone receives Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Praise the Lord. Can we read it? 2, 3. When we receive Jesus Christ, we shall save our Lord. Almighty God, Amen. Amen. Eh? In that in that scripture we re, we we read in um, two Corinthians five seventeen, it says here that all things have become all new. 
Kau kasi old sih ngomong ikan nama nasa sudu mungkin amin. Kita sama sulit kita sama apa buku awak. Praise the Lord. Salah kata nabi kau makau rendah sahaja apa. Bau nabi kau kita nak tambah kita cuci mungkin nama kau. Praise the Lord. Kau kasi tambah tambah kau cikal lama nama sulit itu. Praise the Lord. Behold, all things is eh become new. Praise the Lord. That new God change you. What's the word? What do you have a word nature in Hindi? Bartau. Okay. Harus tadi tu jangan awal mesti klaim nama Bartau sejak tu jangan lupa. Praise the Lord. Nature. In Fiji, do we have a word for nature in Fiji? Nama apa nama nature in Fiji? No, we talk. No, we bang around. No, we balok balah. So when God, when God change you, He change your nature. Kau nak balok balah rap untuk tak kau tu ilu. Gosa kama tabu. Sangai orang mano. He used to be rough before Jesus Christ came into your life. You were rough, like an animal. Hana, eh? But now, and all the wives say, Amen. Now, man, you are nice and humble and soft and loving, and we can communicate with you. Before, are you both danger, Father? <laughs> eh? And all the wives say, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, praise the Lord. Look at all, look at all the uncles and all the good. Come tell them, we're gonna get you after this service. <laughs> we're gonna model you after this service. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can we read the scripture? 2 Peter 2, 22, 2, 3. Amen. 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 Eh, well, girl pig or you know, baby pig, any pig, and you wash the pig, wash the sewer, huh? Wash it, wash it, wash it, nice and clean. And you know, you could have, you know, you could have brought the pig inside to watch the movie with you on the TV, huh? Eh, so you wash the pig after washing the pig. Where does this pig go to? Go to the mud. Are you? Why? Why does the pig go back to the mud after you clean the pig? Why is that? You like the mud. You like the mud. Eh? Because it's the nature of the pig. The nature of the pig is the one that's driving the pig to go back to the mud and roll around and roll around and roll around. No matter how many times you wash the sewer, and the sewer keep on going to the mud. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? Because some of you and some of us, including the pastor, you, eh? we were like that before we received Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You got patched over there. And, eh? Eh? We can come. You go back there. Eh? They catch, catch you there. Eh? After that, you go back there. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? They spend all your money there. After that, you go back. You drink the grow, you drink whatever you drink, you do whatever the naughty thing that you do. Praise the Lord. Yes. Eh? Why is that? Why does the pig do that? You see, the pig doesn't have any ability in him or her to know the difference between clean and dirty. The pig doesn't have, does not know any difference. Huh? What is clean and what is dirty? The pig cannot discern between clean and dirty. And this is the reason why the pig what? Keeps going back to the mud. What do you reckon is the solution for the pig? Can we read together? Two, three. The nature of the pig is changed. 
Lebih dari kian dalam naik kelab lolo buat tu makina. Sempat di mata ngah mengko, sempat di olah tali. How many of you? Eh, kamu semua ni tulang mata ngko. All your wages. You receive this week. Are you go to the night club, spend all the wages, come home, where's the money? Class. What happened? We drank it all with my friends. What are we gonna eat? Oh, look. <coughs> we're gonna find some. You know, how many of you have done that silly thing? How many of you have done any naughty things? Don't put your hands up. Praise the Lord. Eh? Until the nature of the pig is changed, you keep on doing the same thing. You and me were you. Yeah? You and me, we want any different to be suan. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? Some of us, maybe the suan better. We. Better, better. Again. Praise the Lord. The suan a little bit front. We better, better than the pig style and all that. The life we used to live before. And all the people Amen. said, Amen. Praise the Lord. Nobody being honest. With you. Hallelujah. <coughs> so how can the sin nature of a person change? How can we change the, the nature of a person? How can we say uh, change the, the, the sin nature of a person? Praise the Lord. The answer is, can we read it? That's the answer. Do you see? Only through the new birth can our sin nature be changed. I was thinking about today this thing. Um, let me just ask the question. I've asked this question before here in this church. So I'll ask it again. Let me see how many people remember. Uh, if anybody comes, uh, let's say this is the line here, right? That's the line there. Just the imaginary line, okay? So this is the kingdom of darkness here. That over there <coughs> is the kingdom of light. All you people here are already in the kingdom of light. I'm the sinner person, huh? Let's say. I come over here and I confess my sins to Christ. Do I have the right now to come into the kingdom of light? No. Praise the Lord. Let me ask a question. I'm here at the border. We just call it border, huh? Yeah, I'm here at the border. This is the kingdom of darkness. That's the kingdom of light. I'm here and I confess my sins to God. Does God, will God allow me to come into his kingdom now? Yes. No. Yes. Okay, those who say yes, put your hands up. Those who say no, put your hands up. Okay. The no is the correct answer. And now I'm going to ask all the no to tell us the answer. Why is that? Close, very close, thank you. Because you have to be washed in the water, be baptized before you go into the new. Okay, okay, yeah, I understand that. Okay, close. My brother, go back. I to accept Jesus as the Savior. That's the answer right there. That's the answer right there. In other words, if your sins has only been forgiven, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Not yet. What's lacking is that you still haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. That's the one that changed the nature. Not the forgiveness of sins. If your sins are only forgiven, if you die there, you still go to hell. Because you haven't received the Lord Jesus Christ to be your personal Savior and Lord. The moment you receive Jesus Christ to be your Savior and Lord, that's the moment your nature is changed and then now you can come into the kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. Understand now? Yeah. But where does the baptism take? Uh, in which uh, time? And how does it? Baptism is part of the discipleship program, not a qualification to enter into the kingdom of God. 
Amen? I'll give you the example. Remember the thief on the cross. Remember that? Eh? One of them repented and one of them didn't. Now the one that repented, did he go to heaven or not? He went to heaven. Was he baptized before he went to heaven? No. no. Yeah. Because some uh, some pastors I have went to the preaching and yeah. have said that unless and until you take a water baptism, yeah. you cannot enter heaven. That's the wrong interpretation of I think it's Mark 16, it's in it. Um, we will we will go we will clarify that one for you. No no problem. It's I think it's in Mark 16. Let's say. But it's it's a it's a misinterpretation of that scripture. It's not. Water baptism is not a qualification of entering into the kingdom of God. Uh, let me ask the question. That's a good question she's asking. Now I'm asking the question. Why is water baptism not a qualification of entering into heaven? Why? Why? That's a good question. Now we're going to ask the church. But the Nagaba is saying that the people who are not going to be in the world are not going to be in the world. Why? You wash away all your sins? Uh, you wash away all your sins through the blood of Jesus. But I'm, I, I, I'm, uh, we're asking. That's good. good thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're, 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 asking about, we're asking about eternal. How can you receive eternal life? Why is baptism, why is water baptism left out of it? And the story back at some moment again. Praise the Lord. Uh, come to uh, Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, please. <coughs> Good question. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, are you there? Verse, uh, verse 8 and verse 9. Verse 8 and verse 9. Uh, whoever has found it? Okay. Uh, sister. Bolo, Bolo. Baga, Baga, Read it. God has brought us back to life together with Christ Jesus and has given us a position in heaven with you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Anybody else got uh, any English translation there? Okay. For by grace you have been saved yeah. faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of work. Well, does anyone we'll boast? shall boast. Now watch. Let me touch it very clear. Now can I have a bit? And a lot of And those are lava? Okay, thank you. So you see here, it says that for by grace you are saved. Eh? It is the gift of God. So salvation <coughs> is given to each and every one of us, right? By grace. It is a free gift. Anybody can be saved. Hala. Black, white, purple, green, hallelujah. No matter which country and what kind of lifestyle you live in. You can be saved from that, from that place. Hala. Eh? It is the free gift of God. In other words, you don't have to do anything to earn it. Eh? Yeah. You, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to work for it. And therefore, God has to reward you with salvation. No, it's a free gift. Eh? But we have to receive it by faith. So write this down. Okay? Salvation is a free gift of God given by grace. But we have to receive it by faith. Huh? Salvation is a free gift of God given to us by grace, by His grace. But we have to receive it by faith. So in other words, even though you don't understand it, how it works, but you still believe it and receive it, you are saved. 
Amen. 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 And that scripture goes on to say, it's not of works. Otherwise, we will boast. So in other words, in other words, if you did something, eh, and you are now rewarded with salvation, what will happen to you when you get to heaven? You will start boasting about it. You say, the reason why I'm here, man, I used to preach in Nareri. Uh, when I lay hands on people, man, I read the people fall down. And when I, you know, when I prophesy, I read a demon run away. You begin to boast about what you do for God. You understand now? Amen. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29. English Bible, can anybody who found it please read it out? 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 29. Wilmai, Wilmai, Matai ni koronida wa sendua, tigine rosa wuka viwa. Amen. English? So that no one may boast before him. In another translation, he say, No flesh shall glory in his presence. You see? Praise the Lord. All of us, when we get to heaven, eh, we all have one testimony, and that's we're going to say, the only reason why I'm up here is because I'm washed in the blood. Man, Amen. none of us will be able to boast about, man, we used to play the guitar in, eh, in faith. Well, man, we used to preach, man. Oh, are, we used to do the visitation there. Oh, I'm the one that made the pie over there in Narere Nabosai Christian Center. Nobody will be able to boast about what we do for God. All of us will say, well, I'm here today because I'm washed in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the city of Dubai can then bore it and the car will work through. Can the car and the car to settle the hood. No more than we have to make it again. But the news has survived long enough and I'm dry Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now come to Mark chapter 16. So we'll clarify here why baptism is not part of salvation. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 and 16. <coughs> Got it? Mark chapter 16, 15 and 16. 16. And we read, and he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now very slowly, read 16. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe is condemned. And it's a missing interpretation of this verse right here. That many people have been deceived by a lot of preachers who are missed quoting and taking out of context this verse here. Amen? Amen. You see, water baptism is something you and I do. Hello? Mm. Eh? Because God does not supernaturally water baptize you, does he? Has anybody here that God drag you out in the middle of the night, eh, take you to the river to water baptize you? Anybody? Put your hands up. How many here you've been water baptized uh, by God? himself. Took you out to the sea, dump you in the water, and pray over you. How many have you been water baptized? Let me take a supplication away. Who baptized you? Man or God? Man. There you go. Now watch. Come very close. Look at the next verse. It says in verse 16, the first part says, he who believes and baptized will be saved. But 
he who does not believe will be what? Notice he didn't have baptism in there. Did you see that? In the second part of the verse. Okay? If baptism was part of salvation, then it should say at the end of that verse, but he who does not believe and water baptized will be condemned. But no, he didn't say that. He left, he left water baptism out of it. It just says there, but he who does not believe will be condemned. That's it, full stop. Do you see now? It's a misinterpretation of that scripture. Eh? Water baptism was never a part of salvation. If it's a part of salvation, now God is rewarding us because we went down and got water baptized ourselves. We did something. Is that right? Eh? You drove to the sea. You went there. You organized the pastor. The pastor organized. We're going to have water baptism this day. In other words, you did something. Amen? Amen. Water baptism was never part of salvation. Remember, it's a free gift of God given by grace. You don't have to do anything. Just receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Are you saved? Yeah. How many here, you got water baptized before you got saved? Same. Okay. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 My time is up. My time is up. Praise the Lord. Any more questions? Good question. Thank you for that. Amen. Does that answer your question? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for answering that question. Father, Brother Joe? Yes. Because remember, remember that scripture in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. It says that salvation is given by grace. Eh? It's a, uh, sal salvation is a free gift given by grace. Eh? But we have to receive it by faith. Now, when you come to the you're going to the Lord. Eh? Praise the Lord. Come to Romans chapter 10, I think it is. Romans chapter 10. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 10, I think verses 9 and 10. Romans chapter 10. Yeah, that's a good question, Brother Joe. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Are we there? Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Let's read 2, 3. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Believe in the heart and confess with the mouth. That's how you get saved. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, the baptism is not needed. The baptism is not part of salvation. Baptism is part of the discipleship program. Because we are identifying with the death and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't have to be baptized to be saved. Right? You can be saved without being baptized. The main thing, the main thing is salvation. The main thing is salvation. But what a baptism is the, is the discipleship program that every follower of Jesus Christ must go through. One thing I want to ask. Yeah. Uh, until, unless Jesus was baptized, huh. the Spirit of God didn't come on him. Yes. As soon as Jesus took the baptism, huh. the Spirit of God came on him. Yes. And the voice came that he is my son that who I love. Yes, that's right. So, so you can see the so you can see the disciple problem. Yes. Continue, continue. So why didn't he didn't say it before until Jesus was baptized? Because he he had to be equipped with the Holy Spirit before he he went in. Remember he, Jesus didn't do a miracle until he was being empowered by the Holy Spirit. Was he any less a son of God at 21? Was Jesus Christ a son of God at 21 years or no? Yes, of course. He was a son of God at 21. 
What happened from when he was born until 30 years old? What happened here? What happened here? Come on. He was preparing. Ah, he was preparing. 30 years of preparation for a three and a half years of ministry. <laughs> we, want, we want to do that the other side. Eh? We want to have a three and a half years of preparation for a 30 years of ministry. Doesn't work like that. Hello. I'm going to go to the mission. I'm going to go to the mission. I'm going to go to the mission. I'm going to go to the Praise the Lord. Eh? Tau sa ngayon niya pa kinolo mga ruta ti. Tau lubi mga mga niya pa kinolo na taka loko. Thirty years of uh, of preparation, three and a half years of ministry. It's a, it's a three to one ratio. Eh? Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Eh? Don't promote anybody too early in the church when they haven't been prepared properly yet. Otherwise, eh? Jesus, we know, Paul, we know, who are you? Amen. Yes. Any other question? Yes. The time. Sawati. Class, finish? Yes. All right, let's bow our heads and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just stand up and say something nice to God. Bless God. Thank God for what you have learned tonight. Thank God for what you received tonight. Hallelujah. What's up in that Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful God, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Wonderful God, Jesus. We bless you. We worship you. We thank you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We worship you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Parmeshwa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father God, we are so thankful to you tonight. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you, Father God, hallelujah, for taking us out from the kingdom of darkness, Lord God, and placing us in the kingdom of your a son, we thank you, Father God, that we are seated together with Christ in the heavenly places at your right hand. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for giving us the Holy Spirit, Lord God, baptizing us with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that we are your children and you are our spiritual father. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Lord, but I pray that you bless your people. Bless your children, Lord God. Hallelujah. Look after your people as they, hallelujah, depart from your house tonight. Lord God, we pray for the covering uh, of the blood of Jesus. We pray for the ministering angels of God to watch over them and protect them on their way home and the rest of this week uh, until we meet again in this place. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Jesus. We thank you tonight. We be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, and all the worship because it belongs to you, God. In Jesus' name we pray and the church say, Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Clap offering to the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, uh, greet somebody, shake somebody.